Hi viewers, got a couple of fruit trees to put in this weekend. Got them from Home Depot. And uh, what I got is an apple here, a red delicious, a northern apple, and uh, two red Bartlets. What I also have here is a couple of flowers growing on my Jerusalem artichokes. So that was interesting to see and very nice. They're doing well. So to fix the uh, apple being root bound as it is, we're just going to loosen up the, uh, the roots at the bottom there and kind of open it up a bit before we put it in the hole. Well, I spent a few hours yesterday flattening out some of this. This is my hillside, so my water totes will go here. Um, so I needed this a little more flat. This was uh, very lopsided and uh, high spots were everywhere. So now I'll just transition into the hill a bit more. Same thing with here. I got some, just a little bit more dirt to, to kind of spread out a bit. And then I also did the inside of the greenhouse. It's all flat in here now, easy to work, and the front is flat as well, and then no flooding, hopefully. So get over here, and then this is kind of the roadway too, right? So if you kind of look at that, you can see that the slope goes to my to my right of the camera there, to the right of the picture. Um, it's slight; it looks more on the on the film than here, but it's a lot to take out. I ended up with a lot of dirt. I'll just show you that mound right now. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mound up these blueberries and blackberries. I'm just going to mound them up. See, because they, they have a good uh, potential to uh, give me good sprouts next year. So what we'll do is we'll put them in a bigger pot, mound them up. Next year we'll pull them out and we'll separate them and then we'll have that many more plants. So let's get to it. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Nice and mounded. Ah, that one there might not give me too much there, but it might get shoots from it. But you can see the blueberry there and this blueberry here. We've got at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight just in that one plant. So hopefully I can get eight plants out of it in the springtime. I don't know if I'm going to be putting these in the greenhouse or just putting them in the garage. But either way, don't worry about that next week. So this is one of my blueberries, uh, as you can see. It had a lot of uh, out shoots and stuff, so I mounded it up and hopefully in the spring I can dig this up and then separate each and every one of those, turn them all into one plant or different plants. So that's what I've been doing with these and I'm going to do it to a few other plants. I had put in uh, Josta Berry. I had four plants that I got last week, four fruit trees, one, two red pear, one red delicious and one nor. Norland apple which is a cold hardy apple and I ended up paying 60 bucks for them because they're 75% off at Home Depot so I snagged them and it all worked out for me so again I'm mounding up everything next week I'll come probably back and put the uh, straw on top 
Um, but again, this is what I'm doing, mounding. So I put in, uh, what else did I put in? One Josta Berry, two Current Plants, and two Raspberries. So can't wait to eat those raspberries. In fact, I just had a raspberry today, which I was surprised to get, so. So yeah, we had to fill up the pond one more time this year because uh, it was really getting low. So uh, we really gave her a good uh, a dose yesterday. It's supposed to rain tonight, and maybe this week. And now we're just into uh, filling up the bigger pond. And I apologize if the audio is off because it's pretty windy here. There's even the goldfish in there, but they kind of, they scattered when the dogs came around and Trevor was standing up there holding a the shadow. So I have some of this stop leak here, it was on sale. So I grabbed a couple of cans. What I'm gonna do, shake it up real good, and then I'm gonna coat some of these welds that I have so they'll stop rusting. It's like a rubbery coating, too much rust. And uh, just like I did at the bottom here, it just puts a rubber coating on it, allows it to last a little longer. And I'll keep it around for touch-ups. Now we're in mom's garden here and we still got some jalapenos growing. I'm gonna pick a few of them. And uh, last week I picked a whole bunch of scotch bonnets and stuff. So this week I don't have the good ones but there's a bunch of bad ones here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry them and I'm gonna use them for that uh, pest repellent. So this is my haul of uh, jalapenos and scotch bonnets. Do not touch your face after cutting one of these. And uh, yeah, I know some of them are rotten, you know, but it doesn't matter to me because I'm going to dry it out and this is all going to be bug repellent. So I also have some juice that's fermenting upstairs, but uh, we'll get to that later.